Our prospect expert got opinions from a handful of NHL GMs on Seattle's first pick, the biggest wild cards and more. With about a month to go before the 2021 NHL draft, GMs are beginning to have their final meetings with their scouting staff to prepare for the event, which is everything this season, has been complicated by the pandemic. Some players didn't even skate in formal games this year due to certain leagues cancelling their schedules, while many others played abbreviated seasons more akin to a sprint than a marathon. Nonetheless, the picks must be made, even with less viewings to go off. Ordinarily, there would be a draft combine in Buffalo that would allow scouts and GMs to see prospective draft picks work out in a gym-style setting, while also getting the chance to interview the kids one-on-one -on -one to get a sense of who they are as people. Needless to say, Zoom became the dominant tool for interviews this year as teams took to their computers to interview the kids virtually. The draft combine is always a great place to get little tidbits of information from teams and players and since it's not happening this year, it was cancelled last season as well. I called up three NHL GMs to get their thoughts on a couple burning questions I had on my mind. My first question was about best interview, but some of the GMs hadn't finished talking to everyone on their list yet. But one did list Owen Power and Maddie Beniers from the University of Michigan as good ones, plus Edmonton Oil Kings goaltender Sebastian Casa. He was really mature, well-spoken and there was no nervousness, said one GM of Casa. Very relaxed. So with only one response, we'll call that half a burning question. Here are three full ones. I framed this as a player who will go high, but how high? There's always a push-pull on potential when it comes to the draft and things will be especially fraught this year since different teams got different viewings on players. Apparently the University of Michigan even had a lottery for scout seats at one point thanks to the demand and COVID precautions. Barry Colt's defenseman another defenseman on the wildcard list was Luke is an elite skater, but he's also one of the youngest players available in the draft. His birthday is six days before the cutoff, and still raw in some areas. Like Clark, Hughes could be top 10 or top 5. One GM focused his wild card vote on a different position. I would say the two goalies. The Erie Showcase gave some old players an outlet for their energy and a nice spotlight in front of scouts from most NHL franchises, but the paucity of viewings otherwise poses a real challenge for teams trying to assess old talent. It's very difficult, said one GM. The only positive is that every NHL team is on the same playing field and you have to figure it out. Can you gauge a kid's development at 16 to 17 years old and equate it to 17 to 18? It's a projection. You'll be throwing darts in the late rounds. All three GMs agreed that the lack of season will hurt old prospects, but in every situation there is also opportunity for teams with ace scouts to find steals. Many regional scouts have a good book on kids from their underage seasons so at least they have a foundation to work off. Conversely, we're all assuming Buffalo takes, is it Beniers or Edvinson? I think it's wide open to tell you the truth, said one GM. Do you want a big guy on the back end to build around? That's the Swedish defenseman, but Beniers is a hell of a player. I'll go Beniers, but it's a coin toss. Another GM also offered a split decision in favor of Beniers. Centers are hard to get, he said. You have to draft them.